What's good, y'all? It's your boy Mussolini. Welcome to my first video. Welcome to my first channel, first and foremost. Um, the Mussolini channel. Basically, this channel is going to have a lot of sports content. We're going to have a lot of NBA content. We're going to have a lot of NFL content. Um, I don't really do too much college sports because, you know, I don't really mess with college sports, but we're going to have a lot of top tens. We're going to have a lot of what ifs. We're going to have a lot of big moments. So, uh, like and subscribe to join the, uh, to join the Moo Gang. That's what I'm going to call my subscribers. Y'all going to be the Moo Gang. Uh, you know, I'm Mussolini. So, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Enjoy the video. Yeah. If you've been keeping up with the NBA recently, you'll notice that the Lakers are trash. Russell Westbrook is a shell of himself. LeBron is getting too old to carry a team. And the Nets are about eighth place in the Eastern Conference right now. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about the most exciting player in the league right now, and that is John ja Morant. Recently, I saw a debate on who would you rather take, John ja Morant or Derrick Rose, barring injury, and I just had to think about it. And then I just had to take a look into it some more. Because I'm like, I didn't really want to let the nostalgia take place and say Derrick Rose. And then watching John ja Morant right now is literally ridiculous. Have you seen what this man been doing on the court? This man is making 360 layups. His head is touching near the damn backboard. So I had to go and take a look at the stats a little bit and see who I would rather take. Now, it's been a minute since Derrick Rose was the MVP. He won that MVP back in like 2010, 2011. If you think about it, that's about 11 years ago. So I can't blame anybody for choosing John Morant over Derrick Rose because you know, some people just don't remember Derrick Rose. But in that season, that's when we had like LeBron, Wade, and Bosch. We had Kevin Garnett, the big, the other big three that paid for the Celtics. We even had Kobe Bryant and Gasol and, and Meta World Peace. However, there's a reason Derrick Rose won that MVP season that year. In that year, he was top 10 in both points and assists. He also led his team the first place with a roster that had Carlos Boozer, Taj Gibson, and the White Mamba, Brian Scalabrini. During that time, the Super Team era had just begun. So getting 62 wins with this roster is a pretty impressive feat to me. Not to mention he was able to win all those games while missing two significant players at the time, which was Carlos Boozer and Joakim Noah. Derrick Rose is one of only two Bulls to average 25 points and 7 assists per game in a season. He averaged 25 points and 7.7. And guess who's the other bull? Yeah, that's right. The great, the GOAT, Michael Jordan. Honestly, when you think about it, John Morant might be the new Derrick Rose if Derrick Rose were to be healthy. This man, Derrick Rose, was high flying. He was explosive. He'll put it on your head if you were to jump with him. And at the time, he was giving your favorite player buckets. Some people don't even remember that Derrick Rose took his team to the Eastern Conference Finals where he faced the Heat who had LeBron, Wade, and Bosh. And he put my man Joel Anthony on a big poster. That's when I knew Derrick Rose was here. But now, let's take a look at the man who got helium in his shoes. The first man to float. The man who get hired in an astronaut, John Morant. If you are ever bored, smoke a blunt and watch John Morant. I promise you, about four or five times in a quarter, your jaw will be dropped. In this man's third season, he's averaging about 27 points, about seven assists, and he's leading the Grizzlies to third place in the Western Conference right now. As of right now, I know the Pelicans wish they took John Morant first instead of the guy who looks like he been eating donuts all off season in the Zion Williamson. I believe that John Morant is a consistent jump shot away from being the best player in the league. Yes, you heard it here. John Morant is a consistent jump shot away from being the best player in the league. Not only will John Morant get you buckets and win games, he's going to be flashy doing it and you're gonna probably get about like two highlight plays out of a game. Last season in John Morant's first playoffs, the man averaged 30, 30, let me say that again, 30. Therefore, if he could average 30 in his first playoffs, I can't wait to see what he'll do this season. 
However, until John Morant leads his team to a Western Conference Finals or a NBA Finals, I just can't put him over Derrick Rose just yet. I mean, both players are nasty. And I think it's just unfair to compare the two, especially when we know about Derrick Rose's past injuries. Can John Morant have a higher ceiling than Derrick Rose? Yes. Would I take John Morant over Derrick Rose right now? No. I honestly believe if you were to take MVP Derrick Rose and put him inside of the league now, he'd honestly be doing the same thing that John Morant is doing. So until John Morant could go far in the playoffs, in which I think he can, the nostalgia in me just won't take him over Derrick Rose. Let me know down in the comments who would you rather have barring injury. And we got more videos like this coming up. So like and subscribe to join the Moo Gang. And I'll see you next time. Ooh.